You may have heard the saying that dogs are man's best friend. Well, if one were to save you from an avalanche, you might have a whole new appreciation for that old adage. At ski resorts around the world, dogs are trained for this exact purpose, to find people who are buried in the snow. And for Peter Tucker, snow safety director at Brighton Ski Resort, training these incredible pups, it's his life's work. So my dog is a, uh, a black American lab. Her name is Tila Thundersnow, just Tila. She's one of our avalanche rescue dogs um, for both the resort and then she is also certified to work with Wasatch Backcountry Rescue. Luckily, situations where Tila's skills are needed are rare, but should there be a need, her sharp sense of smell has been trained to detect human scent from deep inside the snowpack. They're searching for human scent, but we turn it into a game. So to them, it's just a fun game. Uh, I'll sometimes run her down the hill before public is on the hill, just so I know there's nobody around. She can run free, do her, you know, just have some fun. And she hangs out up top pretty much all day. And, you know, we'll come out, do some obedience, do some playing, you know, maybe do a drill. Uh, but we are waiting and we want her to be energized. So if a call comes in that we have an avalanche, she's ready to go and ready to be deployed off the top. Keeping Tila ready for work is part of the job for Peter, and they accomplish this by doing drills where they bury their ski patrol colleagues in pre-dug holes and have Tila and other dogs perform drills to find their quarry. For our A-level test, there's anywhere from one to three people buried, and you have 20 minutes to clear that zone. And so a dog can clear a zone, you know, that big in 20 minutes or less. So in the first drill we had, I sent her out and then I did a kick turn in 180 and I saw her do a full head snap, which we refer to as getting in on the scent cone. And she beelined it right down to the hole and had that scent cone. And then she just started digging. And she knows that in order for her to get that reward, she's gonna have to work to get in that hole. And so she got to the first person in probably like a minute to two minutes. The second drill we did, she went to the other hole, got them out, and then, uh, you know, I restarted her and she went out. And within another minute or two, she picked up the scent on the second person and went right to it, dug right in and got him out. So yeah, she, uh, she did awesome today. It was great. And once Tila is ramped up and using her super tuned nose to play the game, she really begins developing those skills that could one day help her save a life. We train for a live recovery. That's our, you know, it's kind of every dog handler. Like you don't ever want people to be in avalanches, um, but every dog handler basically trains thinking if there were to be a slide, you know, just right outside our resort and I'm right here and I know there's no hang fire or something and we can get onto that, we do have a possibility of a live recovery. And with all this training and time spent working together, avalanche dogs and their handlers form an intense bond and become a truly remarkable team. It's a lot of work, but it's immensely satisfying, you know, and just to be able to, you know, bring your pup to work every day, uh, it, it just, it's, it's a great joy. It's also an amazing community here. You know, I think that's why pretty much most people patrol is they wanna sort of help, and this is just another way that we can. These pups are not only man's best friend, but also a lifeline to support outdoor enthusiasts when they need them most. For At Your Leisure and this week's Along the Way, I'm Nick Chase.